Ben. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up eight, NASDAQ up two, S&P's flat, gold contract up five dollars and 50 cents, trading at 12.29.60 an ounce. Silver up 11 cents, 15 dollars, 51 cents. Copper up five and a half pennies at 2.74 a pound. Light sweet crude up a dollar, 70 dollars, 46 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note, down 10 ticks. 119.31, 30-year bond off a full point, plus four ticks, 144.05. Let's start right there. Let's go over to the 10-year first and take a look at the 10-year. So, 10-year note up here, folks, has been trying to get into the highs that were established out here on the uh, 30th of May. Uh, right now, you're going downtown. We are doing one point. 2 million. Now, it's going to get intriguing. That is an expansion of volume. That being said, yesterday we went topside with 1.75. 30 year. We go take a look at the 30 year. What you have happening in the 30 year right now? Same type of setup. 30 year has gone from a price point of 145.16 to 144.04. You're trading at 144.05 right now. We are pulling back and you're pulling back with 279,000 contracts. Now, in both cases, you get an expansion of volume. And what it looks like here, which is pretty wild, is that, let's go over to King Dollar. So inside King Dollar, you get Trump hammering the, the Fed, hammering the dollar. He wants a lower dollar. He wants interest rates to stay low. Bottom line, sold off the dollar. They sold it off in spades. Sold it off with volume. And now what it looks like is that we're going to have a fight between the U.S. dollar and the bond market, you know, because what had been happening, dollar had been going up, bonds had been going up, even with the fact that the interest rate structure, short-term interest rate structure at the Fed, the Fed was saying they're going to go up on rates. Market saying how they were buying the 10 and the 30, saying you can go up on short-term rates all you want, we're buying it, and as far as we're concerned, rates are going to go down, the 10-year and the 30-year this is. Bottom line, it looks like uh, these structures are going to be fighting it out, meaning the note, bond mar the note market, the bond market, and the U.S. dollar. Right now, the short-term, I mean, the Fed Fund futures rate, um, next probability is 89% that the Fed is still going to go up on the 26th. What I do expect we're going to see out here uh, let's go over to the yen. What I do, I do expect we're going to see over here before Sunday night at 6 o'clock, that's when our futures open, is that we're going to see more volatility inside these currency markets. Um, we're going to get more tweets. And, uh, you know, the currencies in, in general are basically paying attention to it. Uh, what, you know, when you, when you take a look at the actual legal structure, uh, there's not much Trump can do uh, to the Federal Reserve except basically hammer them on tweets, hammer them. In general, what can happen is that he can order the Treasury to do anything and everything that he wants to do. And guess what, folks? The Treasury can basically get that dollar weaker. That's what it comes down to. And it wouldn't be too hard to do. The Japanese yen right now is trading at 111.58. If we get back inside 111.40, you'll see this down at 108.11. If we get that down to 108.11, you're going to continue to see expansion inside the metals market inside the commodity complex in general, because that's, well, this is one of the first days that we've actually had most of the commodities up. You have a wheat up 2.2%, uh, copper's up 2%, coffee's up 1.7%, well, excluding oil. Oil's been up, period. Oil's up an additional 1.4%. You get sugar up, you get cocoa up, you get corn up, you get, you know, uh, gold, silver, orange juice, soybeans, all of the above. Silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market. Silver market also needs a lot of help. What we have out here with silver, silver right now is trading at a price point. Oh, she is. 
Where are you, Silver? There we are. So Silver's up 7 tenths of 1%. You're up 11 cents. And Silver also is going to need some help. Uh, silver, you know, when we take a look at from the June 14th, June 14th, Silver is at $7.40. We hit a low yesterday of uh, 15.18. Bottom line, we'll see what kind of juice we can get. The GDX inside the gold equities. GDX out here, bottom line, really trading flat. It's up nine pennies, but that would basically flat. That's on the daily. On the weekly, you do have a rejection of lower price and you will have lighter volume. Uh, bottom line is that you go, you're coming into some heavy days. You're coming into 300, heavy weeks rather. You're coming into 326 million the week of February 9th. You're coming into the 256 million the week of the 23rd of March. And this, this we're at 160. So 160 versus 250 versus uh, 326. XAU, HUI, same type of setup in the XAU, the HUI. Uh, XAU right now is trading at $79.19. And that baby also um, is basically staying in the range that it has been in since the March 23rd. Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup inside Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index right now is up 50 cents. You're at 171.30. And uh, that has come into a couple different swing lows. We're going to have dramatically lighter volume. Uh, now the kick is going to be, are you going to get some expansion um, of price? with volume next week as we come back into this market. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here inside the S&P. This is what you have. You have uh, GE. Uh, GE's getting hammered. That's down 59 cents. They come out with numbers this morning, $13.14. We have, uh, let's see, Comcast is down 50 cents. You get Apple off 63. Facebook is up $1.70. You have Netflix down 261. If we go over, let's first take a look at uh, Facebook. Facebook, just nothing phases Facebook, bottom line. Facebook is at all-time high today, hit $211. They will be coming out with numbers next week on the 25th. Google, we go take a look at Google. Google's going to be coming out with numbers on the 26th, I believe. Yeah, they're on the 23rd. Uh, Google's uh, trading at uh, 1186, big numbers. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now, flat, NASDAQ, also flat, S&P's off a buck and a half. We'll come right back.